What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with yours truly, Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. On this Project Maker Minute, just want to talk about technique and junior development. I was thinking, what is the one, one common thing that I see in so many players that they could work on with their technique? And I think it's, it's fluidity. I think it's uh, elasticity. And it's, uh, for lack of a better word, being loose. And so many young kids that I work with, they, they are very, very tight and literally tight in their musculature, in, their, in, in the muscles that, that operate the, the swing, primarily the shoulder, the elbow, you know, sh- the muscles around the shoulder joint, the muscles that run down the arm to the elbow joint and the wrist joints. And it's such a difficult habit to break. Once you, once you are stiff, once you learn to be stiff and tight, it's very hard to unlearn that and learn and, and develop like a nice elasticity in your stroke. And when you see players who are very fluid, it's beautiful and they generate a lot of racket speed and they generate a lot of spin with uh, seemingly very little effort. And I think this is what we all should be striving for. Uh, with our players, whether you're a parent, a coach, or a player yourself, you want to try to, you know, strike the ball with, with the fluidity, with uh, elasticity, with looseness in your body, um, and you have to fight tension. And tension can manifest in ver- various ways. It can manifest due to uh, uh, those old habits of muscle memory, but tension can also be part of psychological. Uh, baggage where maybe you're getting anxious or um, you're you're getting triggered psychologically and your whole body is tensing up that can also uh, affect your technique so I just think there's a lot of reasons why a player might get tight sometimes players get tight when they're fatigued so they get tired and they start to tense up and maybe try to force Uh, a lot of times players are tight when they have a bad bad footwork and positioning so this is something they work on a lot in Spain is you try to get better positioning so that you can have a, a more peaceful and calm relationship with the ball. You're not fighting the ball and forcing the forcing the shot too much. When you force, you usually tense your, your body, especially your upper body. So the positioning is important to develop fluidity. Uh, the lit- literal, like training the muscle memory to be more fluid. And then learning how to stay calm and controlling your anxiety, controlling your emotions. Like if you get angry, a lot of times that can make you lose fluidity. And when you see the great players of all time, they are tremendously loose when they swing. Like imagine a Roger Federer, probably the most famous example of a guy who has this beautiful elasticity when he hits. And there are many other players that that are like that. Um, Nick Kyrgios just pops into my mind. Like he has this beautiful fluid serve motion. And forehand is very whippy and, and elastic. And that's what you want. And you, you got to try to develop that at a young age. Unfortunately, it, I feel like the entire coaching community probably should be indicted for malpractice because they they teach in a way that creates very, very like tight, stiff swings. And they don't spend enough time working on the spacing to try to get uh, better fluidity into, into the, the technical swings, which I think is a shame. But... Guys, that's my thoughts about technique. Uh, I mean, without getting into all the details of this grip or backswing or follow throughs and things like that or stances, it's just simply, is is your player relaxed or not when they swing? Are they loose or not? And sometimes you can see the tension rippling through the body when players swing. And oftentimes you see players who are not positioned well to receive the ball and they're they're forcing their shots. They're very very tense. I mean, I see this all the time. You look, go to a high school match, and you see like dozens of players who are like forcing and tight and and muscling every shot, and it's uh, a little bit depressing to watch. But you go to a junior tournament, and you see the same thing. So that's probably the number one thing that I would recommend trying to work on: fluidity, looseness, elasticity, and that comes from spacing. It comes from um, good, good habits with the body and also keeping a calm, uh, staying calm emotionally. That's going to also help to affect your technical development. Guys, if you like this Project Maker Minute, please check out my big show, The Project Maker Show. 
It's available as a podcast and also as a live show on this channel. I'll see you guys on the next program.